What's up guys? This is The Mexican and I'm back with another fresh drinks review for you today. Um, today we're going to be doing the Adnan's Broadside. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's apparently a dark red ruby beer, it says on the back. Um, uh, it's commemorating the Battle of Soul Bay in 1672. Um, it's about $8 a bottle, uh, so pretty pricey, but that makes sense because it's an English beer, so it's got a fair way to travel and they come just in singles, and it's a bigger bottle than usual, so 500 mils. Um, at 6.3% alcohol, which equates to 2.5 standard drinks, um, the blurbs claims it's, uh, uh, Broadside is brewed to commemorate the Battle of Soul Bay, the fierce battle fought between the Dutch Republic in 1672 off the Suffolk coast. The English fleet was moored in Southwold with a Admiral Edward Montagu. Not Montagu, note that, not Montagu. Uh, that's, that's a Shakespeare reference for those in the audience. Um, most of his sailors drinking in local alehouses when called to action. And most, mm, I don't really know what the point of that is. Uh, that that sentence is, but there you go. Um, yeah, this dark red ruby beer is full of fruitcake flavors. Um, so there we go. So we'll get, we'll get into it. Um, but yeah, that, that's uh, a a a proud English heritage there, noble English heritage, or ignoble as the case may be, given 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 their history. So we'll give it a pour. There we go. Now that is dark. I don't know about ruby, um, but definitely dark. Oh, it does have a bit of fruit to it, actually. Very, very surprising. I'm getting a bit of Kilkenny vibes off this if you've ever had it. Um, highly recommend Kilkenny, especially if you get it fresh off the tap. You can find it in some English, um, English um, uh, uh, pubs, some English pubs. Uh, there's there's one in the city, the Elephant and Wheelbarrow. Um, you can get it there if you get, if you get lucky. You'll get the fresh keg. Mwah. Um, but we'll get into this. This is very reminiscent of Kilkenny. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of those same flavors. Um, perhaps a little bit fruitier, but that like that kind of dark fruits. Your um, your plums. Your 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 little bits of cherries, those those nectarines, you know, those those kind of dark fruit type things. Even though nectarine is a bit uh, <laughs> is a bit brighter, obviously. Um, but yeah, that 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 dark style of fruit. Dates is another one. Um, yeah, that that, that um, yeah, that, that, it's got that 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 kind of flavor profile in it. Really quite lovely. Um, yeah, uh, but still like Kilkenny at the same time, minus the the the, the foam, the creaminess. Um, so if, if the creaminess of Kilkenny puts you off, but you quite like the flavor, this might be just for you. Definitely easy drinking. It does not drink like a 6.2% beer. It drinks like a fiver. Um, yeah, very, very, very smooth. Um, and Nams does some good stuff. They do the Ghost Ship as well, um, which is a, a uh, pale ale. Very easy drinking that pale ale. So I can highly recommend that one too. And that actually comes in a four pack. So it, it turns out to be quite an accessible option. Um, but yeah, if you want something a bit different, uh, Oh, pardon me, something a bit piratey themed. Um, even though it's not actually piratey themed, it's more British Navy themed, but uh, <laughs> whoever talks about British Navy, the piracy thing is the, is the better thing, so you go with the broad side. Um, yeah, if you, want a, if you want a beer that reminds you of that, 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 that proud naval heritage, then this, this could be it for you. Um, what do I give it out of 10? I'll give it... Um, 8.5. Five broadsides out of ten adnams, I guess. Um, yeah, really quite nice. Just a bit on the price side, given its shipping costs from England. Um, yeah, when you're at eight dollars a bottle, it is is it is pretty pricey. Um, if you like the content, go ahead and uh, smash that subscribe button. And if you want to watch another video, it'll be another beer video. Click that button right there. Once again, guys, this is the Mexican signing off.